Hi, I'm Yan. Uh, I'm a technologist, and right now I just had a, a really big Chinese meal. You know, we had a lot of veggies, rice. It was really good, it's phenomenal. So I'm uh, my tummy is pretty full. I'm at the office right now of my two business partners sitting over there. Um, and what we were discussing today, uh, what we were talking about, is the new changes and implementations of the internet. Uh, let me open up my notes right here. Now, the internet is changing, you know, all the time. I mean, the internet is always changing all the time. But now, we're we're hitting a a, a very huge change. It's it's a, a very out of proportions compared to the little incremental change that we've always had. The underlying technology that the internet is based upon right now is all going to change. It's changing, um, and and the 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 core, the core markup language of the internet, uh, right now is XHTML2, and that's that's now complete. Uh, it's going to be dead. XHTML2 is going to be dead, and it's going to be be replaced by a new standard called HTML5. Now you'll know you you don't need to know what what these terms mean. Um, I'm going to just give a a, a not so technical walkthrough, if you will. Of what's going on when it comes to the internet and what's and um, everybody's certain experience. Um, one of the things that were really disturbing to me um, that I came across is the fact that uh, this new standard, this new standard XHTML5, is created by a group called the Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group. It's called the Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group, or the What WG. Now, this organization mysteriously, mysteriously just came about, and some of the editors from this organization include Ian Hickson from Google, from Google, and David Hayat from Apple, from Apple. So Google and Apple. They're creating the new standard for the internet. Google and Yahoo are laying out the blueprint three, if you will, for the web 3.0 for the whole internet. And that is going to change the way you surf the internet and the way you view and browse web pages uh, in the future. Now, so. Google and Apple are c going to control the internet. I mean, Google arguably, arguably is controlling the internet right now, but they're going to to run and own and control the internet. Now, the next thing I'm discuss is that the current underlying technology that virtually every single web page is based upon, which is a, a standard called XHTML2, is now dead. Google and Apple's editors have decided that this what we have now will not work. We're laying out this new uh, standard called HTML5, which is the future. And and not only, uh, not not only is the standard um, going going to replace what we have, but it's also going to uh, kill off any technologies that are not Google technologies or are not not Apple technologies. Uh, the Google and Apple are are releasing a new standard that will kill off all the applications and technologies that are not Google and are not Apple. For example, one of the, one of the main goals, the main goals of HTML5 is to reduce the need for any external plugins. It's, uh, what that means is that you won't need Adobe Flash. You won't need Microsoft Silverlight. You won't need Sun's Java applet. You won't need all the companies and technologies out there that are not owned by Google or Apple. So Google and Apple have created these, the, the new standard for the internet that aims to kill off all technologies that are not owned by Google and, and, and Apple. Um, and one of the, the major, major, uh, major steps that they're taking in this chess game of theirs. One of the major steps that Google and Apple are, are taking in their little chess game is that uh, 
well, YouTube now own now is in twenty five percent of Google searches. If you search on Google, one in every four of your searches will have YouTube. And uh, as you know, Google dominate dominates the majority of the of the search engine uh, market share. So YouTube is in a quarter of all Google searches, and Google pretty much runs the whole search engine uh, market. And the scary thing is that right now, at this very precise moment, YouTube uses Adobe Flash. Well, get this, get this. Google has decided that Adobe has too much market share. Google has decided now that Adobe has too much market share. Google is now dropping, they're dropping Adobe Flash as one of the technologies used from, from uh, YouTube. They're no longer going to use Adobe Flash. YouTube's killing off Adobe Flash and implementing HTML5 which has a built-in video player and HTML5 is the standard that was created by the by the uh, web hypertext application technology working group which is composed of pretty much Google and Apple's editors so Google and Apple have built this new platform this new standard that everyone everyone has to oblige by that kills off all technologies that are not owned by them well, there's not much that I can do personally to stop Google or Apple, unfortunately. Um, and the truth is the internet will change and it is going to go from XHTML2 um, to HTML5. The, 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 the bad news about this is all the people that are on the, the current standard, well, your, your current web designer, web developer, programmer, uh, everything that he virtually knows may be obsolete. That's the bad news. The good news is that uh, myself and um, the guys at my firm, we've been really up and on point with HTML5, and actually all our new projects are moving towards using the HTML5 standard, and that's because of the of, of the fact that that's the future, and that and they also provide some the flexibility in the code allow us to create more interactive, powerful, and robust uh, websites for for our customers. And you know, they've implemented a couple of new things in HTML5, such as enhanced block structure with article, aside, footer, header, navigation, section tags, uh, enhanced inline segments, uh, and obviously the enhanced uh, interactive multimedia elements, such as audio, video, source, and, and canvas. Uh, so you know, we, we as as a company, uh, we always strive to take uh, to take quantum leaps towards the future, towards uh, the future of technology, and we're always on point with um, uh, with technology, with, with the the tools, the gadgets that we use to produce our websites. Um, right now, uh, you know, Firefox supports X HTML5. And obviously, obviously, Google Chrome supports HTML5 because Google and Apple are the ones that cre virtually create this new standard and everyone has to follow it. And this new standard that Google and Apple created is going to kill off a lot of pre-existing technologies that are not Google and Apple. Um, and these trends are going to affect virtually all browsers. Um, so within the next... Uh, a couple months to a year or so, you're going to see a, a, a giant change.